Sometimes it wouldn't be such a bad idea, but it's, it, it, you, you gotta pick your face. I think it's really, I think it's really hard. It's really difficult anyway. Anybody who has any kind of but reconstructive, reconstructive surgery, yeah. it's a really good thing for people that need it. And those doctors are it's amazing. Over the top. They, are. they really I are. are. I commend those, those doctors. Are, those are, they're my heroes. I agree. Today was also, um, New Jersey officially dedicates the Howard Stern rest area along Route 295. I love Howard Stern. He got his own rest area and he's made it. He's really, I mean, in Jersey yet. I know. Well, good for Howard. I love Howard. Do you like Howard? You know, I'm not saying anything. Oh, you're taking the fifth on Howard. That's fine. <laughs> Dudley Moore was arrested for hitting his girlfriend on this day in history. He really is Arthur. I mean, do you think he, do you think he took it too far? I mean, Dudley Moore, she probably could have kicked him. I mean, he's not that big. I mean, who was this girl? I know. Yeah, it's like nothing. Isn't it not a Dudley Moore, did he pass away? I think he's not a Well, then. Sorry, Dudley. Um, well, I guess he's not crying today about the yes, anniversary of him being arrested. I don't hear you. And I'm always loud. All right. And I'm not. I know. Can you hear me I think maybe. Okay. We need to hear you. All right. Today, also on this day, oh my, Normal Light starring Moon Unit and Weasel Zappa premiered on CBS. How long do you think that show lasted? I don't remember it. I don't know. I want to say I do because I love those names alone. Moon Unit and Tweezel. Tweezel had a cooking, I think he had a cooking show recently. Oh, he did? I oh. think he did with some really cute girl who I might have been his girlfriend or something. I, I know I heard about it, Moon Unit. She's the a real valley girl. She is. I actually. Do you remember that song? I do. Yeah. That was her. Yeah. Yeah, he was a spoon. Daddy put her on the record. I, I don't know, Frank Zappa. Did you, ever, Harrison, did you like Frank Zappa? I love Frank Zappa. Okay. Yeah. So, Frank Zappa. I saw him once, front row. I, I went with these people that were like huge Zappa fans, and I really wasn't at the time. But after that, I love that man. He, was, he stole my heart. Arthur Ashe is, na is named to International Tennis Hall of Fame. On this day, and Arthur Ashe is a classic guy. You know yes. he is, right? Yes, of course. Oh, that's I like Arthur Ashe. Uh, part of Central Park on this day is named Strawberry Fields, honoring John Lennon. Mm. Do you ever go to Strawberry Fields? Mm. Oh, that gets a plus. <laughs> yeah. Forever. Yeah. And, uh, and it's National Strawberry Day. It's not uh, ironic. It's so in California. Maybe they knew that. I wonder. You think they knew that? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. That, unless Strawberry Day became that because of that. I mean, there might be a time. I don't know. But it's only Strawberry Day in California. Otherwise, it's National French Bread Day. We oui, oui. Uh, oui, oui. La Pan. Yes, we have French bread when our guests today share skeletons. And we do have a little strawberry jam to use for strawberry fields and uh, I don't know. I love LA. I, I if it's in California, I'm, I'm celebrating it. I, do you like California? I do. Yeah. I, I like. like it. I don't you know. I can't live there. I have to say I can't live there. Have you ever? I tried for three months and it was not happening for me. But I, I like going you, there. I like visiting. Yeah. And, you know, so I like coming back to New York. I well, New York is New York. I mean, I love New York more than anything. But like, I would live in LA for not. I, I can't live anywhere forever. Yeah. But I would go for an extended period of time to do the show and work and play. And as long as you have stuff to do. Okay, I'll do it. All right. Yay! Let's, let's go. go. I love LA. I know. I want to go. Um, what else? Only known typo on the cover of Time magazine happened on this day. Ooh. In, um, yeah. They, they wrote control as C-O-N-T-O-L. Control. I know, and it was and it was recalled. All of them were recalled. That was 1983. Well, it didn't hurt Time Magazine at all, and I, I don't even know anyone that knew it. But you do now. There was a title on the cover. I like that. I make so many mistakes. It's like my whole life is a mistake. No, 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 no. But mistakes are 
mistakes for me turn into things that are good. Like someone was telling me yesterday, oh, it was Mary Ann. She has the clothing store Ensigns, and she we went and saw the Rock Hats last night, and her store is doing so great. And she said, my store was a total mistake. It was not supposed to open like that, and she's got the best business going. That's I think mistakes are a good thing. I don't I don't take them as a bad thing. I like mistakes actually. That's how they're the only way you. There you go. It's the only way you get smarter. Um, what else happened on this day? The movie Annie premiered on this day. I think that that movie definitely impacted like many generations. Yeah. I mean Annie is classic. I know. Uh, Jr. was shot. On yes. This Day. You remember me born yet? No. It was 1980. I remember. But the weird thing about that JR was shot, and, and I have to say, um, there's something that, that I know correlates to that later on, that there was another thing. I'm, I'm going to have to get to it. But uh, there, was, there was something else about JR being shot that, uh, where is it? You see it? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Dak Rambo, who who played Jack Ewing, Jr.'s father, oh, right. died on this day. He is an angel in the room. The day Jr. got shot. How oh. weird is that? I he didn't die. He Jr. Didn't, didn't die really die. die. No, right. Larry Hagman is an angel, isn't he? Right. Yeah, he's an angel. <laughs> I know. We love the angels on this show, but but yeah, but but Jack, Zach, Jack. Ewing died on the same day Jr. got shot. How crazy is that? He died of AIDS. That's crazy. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I know. At 52, which he seems so much older than that then. That's weird. I don't know. Some things are just weird. Martin Luther King on this day begins the march from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama. Yeah. John and Yoko staged their first bed in for peace at the Amsterdam Hilton. Oh, I know, just right? to be able to stay at the freaking Amsterdam Hilton and yoga. In that she same room, there. in that same yeah. bed, can you imagine? Everybody in that room. I don't know. I don't know. There's so many things. Um, you want to think of two? Uh, the attempt made to kidnap Princess Anne in London's Pall Mall happened on this day. The attempt. So I guess she was saved by by uh, Scotland Yard. I guess they did their job well. Stop the Music with Burt Parks premiered on ABC Radio. Who would have ever remembered that? I have, you, I've heard of Burt Parks, though. He's the host of every Miss America. No, we weren't alive. This is way before. Yeah, no, we weren't alive yet. This, this is the day that Alcatraz really closed in, in, in real life. And now Alcatraz, is, they can't get rid of that place. There's a new show, Alcatraz. Like, everywhere you turn, there's Alcatraz. They love that. Is it the word? Is it the word? It's, it's a cool word, right? Alcatraz. But today is the day that it really closed in San Francisco. I've never been there. Today, check this out. The first rock and roll concert ever happened on this day in Cleveland. Now I know why the rock and roll falls in. Alan Freed presents Moon Dog Coronation Ball at the Cleveland Arena. Twenty-five thousand attended, and it was the first rock and roll concert. Amazing. That is today. Uh, Thomas Jefferson reported to President Washington in New York as Secretary of State. New York was the real Washington D.C. Um, yeah. So I. So when Washington was president, was it in New York? This was though uh, 1790. Uh, no, no, that was his house was in Germany. And, and Washington slept everywhere. Everywhere you go, George Washington slept here. Even his Bedford Village, there's a little. I mean, he slept everywhere. George got around. I don't know how he did it. They didn't have cars and planes and trains. He was he's our first father. Exactly. Birthdays today. Speaking of fathers that sleep around, Kevin Federline, his birthday is today. Brittany's baby daddy. Yeah. Rosie O'Donnell. Oh, my. Poor Rosie. 
Her show got canceled this week on Oprah's network, and Donald Trump is doing backflips about it. Um, Aww. Yeah, he, he is, and she did. You know, what are you going to do? Good luck, Rosie. Um, who other birthdays? Florence Ziegfeld. Oh, without this man, there would have been no Ziegfeld Follies. I love Ziegfeld. I do. James Jesse Strang, the king of Mormons on Beaver Island. That is just insane to me. <laughs> is that why like the king of the Mormons lived on Beaver Island? That sums it all, doesn't it? I just can't believe that. Is that why he can marry so many women? I know. It's just too much. So weird. And then other angels in the room. Norma McMillan, she was the voice of Casper the Friendly Ghost. Candy Darling passed away on this day. Permanent Angel on our in Ruin Who. And um, Big Jim uh, Calissimo, U.S. gangster, murdered by Al Capone. God, I would not want to be that man. Would you? Wow. But he's an angel in our room today because we love everybody. And we're going to be back. We have a lot going on on this March 21st. We are springing into spring. spring. Yeah. yeah. Lorraine, thank you. We'll be back with some guests right after this. Bender to myself. I get high.